Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create pipeline diagram in PowerPoint. Pipeline diagram is used quite a lot in sales presentations, marketing presentations, and in a number of different strategy presentations as well. The beautiful pipeline diagram you will learn to create today looks like this, where we want to convey the concept of having multiple inputs and one output. Let me show you how to create this useful graphic from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and the first thing I'm going to do is to create this funnel kind of a structure. So I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu and under basic shapes, I'm going to pick up this tool called as cylinder and I'm going to draw a cylinder. I'm going to first make sure that the graphic that I draw is slightly larger so that I can resize it later to uh, this particular size. Now we got this and of course you can always change the curvature by moving this yellow handle. So this is a good enough curvature for me. And the next step is to create the top of the funnel. So I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu. From Basic Shapes I'm going to pick up this isosceles triangle. I'm going to draw the isosceles triangle which is in the shape of the head of the funnel. And then I'm going to go to Arrange, Rotate and then say Flip Vertical so that this is in the size and the shape that I want and I'm going to place it right on top of the earlier shape that I drew. Then I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu. I'm going to pick up this oval tool and I'm going to draw an ellipse which represents the mouth of the funnel and now we pretty much have got the graphic in place. The next step is to combine these two shapes. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to select this and then go to Format, Merge Shapes and say Shape Union. And let us give it a different color. Maybe I can give it a gradient fill. So I'm going to right click, go to Format Shape, go to Fill and maybe I can choose a light gray color for now and I'm going to add the gradient here itself like I'm going to go for the vertical gradient so linear right and here we have three steps and now we are going to do a bit of manipulation we have got the center step and this we are going to use a much lighter hue like this one so that it gives a 3d perspective let us go to shape outline and say no outline and this funnel looks really beautiful. Now for the mouth of the funnel we are going to go to shape fill and use a much darker color and I'm going to choose maybe a white outline like this and now we have got the funnel structure ready. I'm going to select everything, press ctrl G to group it and then I'm going to resize it by holding the shift button down and I'm going to click and drag from the corner so that the size of the funnel is exactly the way that I want it. So now I've got the first funnel in place. I'm going to have uh, three more of them. So I'm going to press Ctrl D which is the shortcut for duplicate and I'm going to place it here and I'm going to press Ctrl D once more and once more and now we have four of these uh, funnels in place. Next, we need to have a pipe which represents the flow uh, to the output. So we are going to go to the same uh, cylinder shape in basic shape. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to draw the cylinder shape like this. And I'm going to give it the same treatment as we have given for this one in terms of the gradient fill. So I'm going to select this piece here and then I'm going to go to Format Painter and then I'm going to click on this one. So instantly we have got a 3D looking pipe. Now let us go to arrange, rotate and then say rotate right 90 degrees and then we are going to place this here and I'm going to extend the length of this pipe and I'm going to right click and send it to back and now the pipeline graphic is ready. Now all that is required for us to do is to draw the arrows that represent the inward flow and then the outward flow. So I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up this one which is under block arrows and it is called as arrow down and I'm going to draw the arrow here and of course you can give it any color you want, maybe a red color and remove the outline and hold the control button down and make copies of this so that they are all uh, available right in the center of each of those uh, funnel-like pieces. 
and the one final thing is to draw the same arrow representing output so I'm going to press ctrl D and then I'm going to go to arrange rotate and then say rotate left 90 degrees and I'm going to place it here now all that is left for us to do is to write our text which represents inputs and then output so that is how you create a simple yet beautiful pipeline diagram in PowerPoint I'm going to show you some creative applications of a pipeline diagram taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that take your presentations to a whole new level. The first example template I would like to showcase is this one which talks about hot and cold streams. As you can see here, we have streams coming from two different sources and it is getting processed here and the output is shown here. Now these can represent maybe uh, warm leads and cold leads and both of them are entering the database and um, this is the output of the database. Now this is a representation of multiple streams of income and here we are going to show the place where everything is collected and here is the first source of uh, revenue stream and then we have the second revenue stream and then the third revenue stream. All this is ready-made available for you and this one is leads flow from different sources to one database and this is a variation of the graphic that I had shown you earlier only that I have added a bit of animation to make the whole thing look a little more interesting and this one talks about another concept which is about leaks in pipeline as you can see here this is the input and this is the output but this output could have been far better had these leaks been plugged and you can write your text explaining each of these leaks and the last example is this one about siphoning out here is a pipeline and this is the stream into the database and we're going to show a very interesting concept which is the concept of siphoning out now a new pipe is plugged in and then the stream is now diverted and we have the collection of the same information in a different database. I'm sure you can think of a million ways in which you can use these variety of pipeline ideas. All that and more is available in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle is a collection of our best-selling PowerPoint templates packs like our PowerPoint Charts and Diagrams CEO Pack 1, CEO Pack 2 which has graphics and concepts, Advanced Animations Pack which has more than 750 cutting edge animations that help you to tell a visual story. Visual PowerPoint Graphs Pack which has data driven PowerPoint graph templates like our dual thermometers, bullet charts, speedometers, visual pie charts, dashboards, etc. Flat Design Pack which has modern flat design style PowerPoint templates. Hand drawn Graphics Pack which has slight templates that look very informal like this themed title templates that give a good first impression to your audience and more than 400 new consulting models and frameworks that are not available anywhere else in any of the template sets in the market. If you are someone who is serious about making presentations that influence your career and business then this is the best PowerPoint bundle you can invest in. And one more thing, as a thank you for watching this video this far, I am happy to offer you our free 5-day email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. Each of the ideas that I share in this practical email course is extremely easy for anyone to pick up and apply in the next presentation. You can sign up for the free email course by clicking on the link here. So please do click and I will see you inside the email course.